spends his time in the markets and advising people on where to put their money is our next guest. Okay? His name is Alex Kamau. He's a business consultant. He's here. He's been here many times before. Alex, how are you doing? Uh, fine, thank you, Eric. You're well? Yes, I'm well. Very good. Just tell us, yesterday, how much was it going for? CBK rate. C CBK rate, uh, one that one against uh, US dollar. 131 to the D, yes, to the dollar. Yes, to the dollar. Why? Hey. And this is coming from a high of? Or a low of? <laughs> yes, from a high of about uh, 160 shillings mm. per dollar. Per, yeah. yeah, per dollar. Yeah, there it is. US yeah. dollar CBK rate, 130.4. Point four. That was as of yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. The pound, 162. Mm. Euro, 138. Mm. You know me, these things confuse me. Ah, completely. <laughs> very good. That's why Alex is here. Yes. Alex, welcome to the conversation. Thank you very much. At least City is not confused yes. when he goes to Cupverd and uh -huh. mines proverbs and brings them. No. And for example, he will not be confused when yes. he tells us to do the system of government uh -huh. in Cupverd. It's used yeah. semi-presidential, semi autonomous, quasi, you quasi. Quasi. unitary, yeah. oh, semi-presidential okay. republic. Just yeah. that you understand. Unitary. Semi-presidential yes. republic. Mm. What does that mean? Well, one unitary means they're united, just yes, so that you understand. <laughs> <laughs> Semi is half. <laughs> <laughs> and the presidential is president. The way this thing works, you know, mm. many countries have a vice president, then some have a prime minister, mm. then you mention, these fellows have a president, prime minister, done that to remain sharp. No parliament. Oh, parliament eco. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. no parliament eco. <laughs> uh -huh. But you see, mm. the prime minister, mm. it's like they have what you may call a parliamentary and a presidential system all combined into one. Ah, uh, it's a thing BBI was trying to give us. Yes, it's 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 it's, it's it, because the prime minister does have power. Mm. Okay. And the president is elected. Yes, and the president also does have power. Right. So, so, so that, that, that's why they call it what they call it. BBI, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is where these guys are gone. <laughs> I can see Paul Mwangi, we will we'll, we'll ask him. Mm. <laughs> did you study Cape Verde? Or did you write the Cape Verde constitution, Paul <laughs> Mwangi? Exactly. Mm. Uh -huh. And by the way, talking of currencies and mm. the yo yoing of the shilling against the dollar, mm. their currency is called a Cape Verdean escudo. That's their shilling. The shilling is called an escudo. Okay, escudo. Yes. Okay. Their shilling is called an escudo? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, should I say their dollar is called oh, an escudo? Voila. Okay. <laughs> uh, the proverb. Okay. Okay. The dog's happy dream produces no meat. The dog's happy dream produces no meat. Mm. Alex, what's your interpretation? The dog's uh, happy dream <laughs> produces uh, no meat. It means that uh, faith without action is dead. That uh, no matter how much uh, you believe in, in the happening of something, dreams don't work themselves. You have to work the dream for it to work. Mm. Very good. This proverb of today might as well have been sponsored by ICEA Lion. <laughs> yes. Mm. Yeah. Plan, bila action. Bure. Activate your plan. Activate your plan. <clears throat> okay. So, the shilling is behaving like that. Yes. Uh, the market is behaving the way it's, it's behaving. We saw the headline again, one of the headlines in the papers yesterday was uh, talking about the, in, the rates. Yes. Okay. And the lending rates to the government. Today's headline is talking retail investors overtake parastatals and insurance companies in buying mm. government paper. Mm. That's T-bills and bonds. So retail investors were saying it's CT, me and do, and now Alex, of course, you mm. now you are an institution, you, <laughs> <laughs> you know, big time. Yes. But also yesterday there was an issue of uh, the latest T bill and the rates and the way they've dropped. They've dropped to the lowest they've been during how many years, mm. and this is also having another impact there. So what is that's happening with our? Mm you know, with our currency, and then we'll come into our market. Okay, okay. okay. Why, did the shilling, why is the shilling dropping? Or oh, gaining, okay. Why is the shilling gaining? <laughs> yes, the reason the shilling is gaining is because uh, there are three uses to money. One is uh, spe speculative. We have a uh, precautionary and transactionary. The reason the shilling is uh, gaining this time around is because of uh, the, the, the first one, the speculative uh, use of money. That uh, there are some people 
uh, investors who hold money waiting for a good opportunity for them uh, to buy things when they are cheap. In this case, uh, people had, uh, investors had hoarded uh, uh, dollars waiting for the Kenyan government uh, when it would be going to the market to buy dollars so that we can repay the 2 billion US, uh, US, uh, US uh, euro bond. Mm. Uh, though that did not happen because uh, instead of uh, the Kenyan government uh, sourcing for dollars uh, internally, they went externally. So the people who had hoarded money in the name of uh, speculating, they had to release the money into the market. And currently we have uh, the, 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 the quantity of dollar or supply of the dollar in the market, it is, uh, it is quite high. Mm -hmm. So, and that's the reason uh, because of the forces of demand and supply, the supply is high and uh, the demand is not very, uh, is not high. Mm -hmm. That's why the dollar has uh, received a beating uh, by the Kenyan currency. This situation is supposed to be very temporary is because uh, as, as time goes by, uh, Kenyan, Kenya is a net importer. So the, the stock that we have for dollars, we will continue to use to use uh, and with time we will deplete it. And once we deplete it, we go back to square one. And actually also by the time we are going to June 2020, to June 2024, when we will be repaying the two billion uh, uh, US uh, USD euro bond, the the money will uh, vanish. These dollars that we have will vanish. You know, we could be having it somewhere, yeah. and uh, it is giving us a false hope that uh, it is money we have uh, for for good. But it's money that uh, the countdown has started to, uh, to, to, uh, to uh, the, the time has started to tick. It's only a matter of time we give up that money. Okay, I don't hang, get hang it. Hang on a minute. I'm sorry. So what, it sounds as though you're saying yes. that this miraculous thing that has happened over the last one and a half months, yes. whereby the dollar has done, the, rather the shilling has done the thing, so now we're looking at 130, yes, yes. that it's artificial. It is artificial. How how can that be artificial? Because what you're insinuating yes, here yes, yes. is that, so it would look as though there's a lot of uh, dollars in the mm, market. Mm, That's mm, why the shilling mm. then has gained on it. Yes, yes, yes. But yes, that yes. that is not the case and yes. that it's only temporary. Yes. What would make those two things happen? Artificial and temporary. Why? Uh, I, I, would, I would say it is artificial because uh, we these dollars that we have, we have not earned those dollars. Actually, we have borrowed. If you would say it is the productivity of, the, of our economy that has increased and we are doing more exports, mm -hmm. that uh, by doing more exports, we are getting uh, more foreign uh, currency, then we would say it is bound to, it is sustainable. But this time around, it's money that we have borrowed in terms of a uh, euro bond. And uh, it's only a matter of time that we, we give out that money. But uh, as any other person, uh, the, it's called the behavioral science or behavioral finance. Because we have some money somewhere, some dollars somewhere, it is giving us this uh, false perception that uh, we, we, are, we are safe. But it's only a matter of time. By June, 20, by June 2024, we release the, the money and then uh, the panic is likely to hit the market. Who is releasing the money in June? In June, uh, as we pay the, the maiden bond, euro bond mm. that uh, we procured in the year 2024. I thought we've already paid one, 1. 1.5 of it. Um, and the other 500, we have, we've been paying dog, 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 dog. I, I wouldn't say we, we have paid because mm. the due date to, to pay is uh, 24th June. Mm. Um, there was uh, some uh, allegations that uh, we might decide to, to, pay, to, to buy it back before the due date. Mm. But uh, to the best of my knowledge is that uh, we are waiting for the D date to, 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 to repay. And actually, th there would be no good reason for us to repay, to repay early. Uh, early because uh, this money that we have, we can still invest it for a month and uh, get some good uh, returns on it. But let me ask this question. Yes. Beyond the reasons that you've given, yes. could there be any other reasons why it is the shilling seems to have? resurrected and has gained strength against the dollar absolutely no any other reason because uh, the main reason the one that we would say it is uh, it is uh, something positive is if we had if if we have increased our productivity because uh, the the we, we have not seen uh, the the gdp of kenya rise uh, within uh, skyrocket within a month 
we have not seen uh, the fundamentals of the country change uh, within this period of time. Mm. The only factor that uh, is new in, uh, is new is the issue of the eurobond. That's the only factor that uh, has triggered uh, what we are seeing. And uh, when we ask uh, why also the Kenyan shilling has gained against Uganda, mm. is, 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 is because now, because the Kenyan shilling has gained uh, against, uh, against uh, US dollar, mm. Ugandans, instead of, buying do, instead of buying US dollars directly, uh, uh, directly using exchanging Ugandan, Kenya, uh, Ugandan shillings, shillings to. To, to, to dollar, they decide first to buy, buy Kenya shillings, uh, convert, convert mm. Ugandan shillings to Kenya shillings, then they procure the US dollar. Because currently, the Kenyan shilling is procuring more dollars than we were doing before. Mm -hmm. mm. So they would... Any, other rational, reasonable investor mm. would 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 avoid buying, converting Ugandan shillings directly, directly to, to the dollar. To the dollar, you first come to, you co first convert to Kenya shillings. Then uh, using Kenya shillings, you buy more dollars. So essentially, because of this, then the demand for the Kenya shilling in some sectors has grown. Has grown, so a and that is very artificial because uh, the way now we the Kenyan shillings. Kenyan shilling is gaining against the Ugandan shilling. Mm. It's not because we are doing more trade. It's not because we are importing uh, more more goods and services to Uganda. It's only because they are they are doing they they they, they, are, they are using our currency to procure the dollar. Let me perhaps segue a little bit and, and then give reason as to why I ask the question. Yes. If let's say for instance, let's take this hypothetical situation where it seems it would appear apparent that we may actually default on the euro bond. What would that do with regards to the confidence of A, lending institutions, the global lending institutions, and the partners who we trade with? In the event that... Uh, In the event that there is a likelihood that we are going to default. Yes, yes. Our credit rating uh, would have received a beating. Precisely. And yes. then what would that do to the shilling? That uh, would weaken the shilling. Okay. Yes. So are we saying that... Yes. The current situation that we are in, yes. such a threat does not exist. It does not exist. Why? Because uh, we have already we have already gone to the market, and uh, the market has been very generous to to us, and has given us money, mm -hmm. both uh, locally and internationally. How is that a good thing? Because if we've borrowed more, yes, and we've borrowed in dollar, yes, yes, and we are. Paying in yes. dollars. Yes, yes. And as you say, the situation yes. we're in now is artificial. Yes, yes. So, the time when we'll be required to pay, mm -hmm. the artificial situation that we're in will have disappeared. That's and true. we'll have gone back to what one may refer to as the factory settings of the shilling having done a belly up, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, how exactly will we have benefited from this whole thing? Because it's like we've jumped from the fire. Is it the frying pan into the fire? Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. The headache. No, 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 no. Brain surgery is still needed. So, is it possible then, for some of the things that we are seeing, yes. if you're talking about the current situation being founded yes. on um, an in, in artificial nature, yes. really, because yes. we borrowed money yes. to pay off this loan, yes. right? Part yes. of it at least. Mm. And then suddenly you have all this money in the market, yes. but this money is borrowed money. It's people who, it's people, institutions who yes. put in this money in order yes. for you to then be clean on that mm. on the record book. Yes. So far, yes, correct. Yes. yes, yes. However, we are seeing resultant effects yes. of that money. For example, what we are being told: fuel prices have come down for the fifth month in a yes. row. Mm. Can be attributed to now mm. the gains that the mm. Kenya shilling has made. That's true. As a result of that, we will see, you know, um, the cost of things actually then coming mm, down mm, because the mm, cost of fuel mm. also will come down, yes, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. Can you say that these gains that are being made then can still be done on a foundation yes. of, artif um, of, of an artificial nature? Yes, yes. Can that happen? Um, because these, these in some way will be yes, long term. Yes, yes. The, 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 the issue of... Uh, the the fuel coming down and uh, some prices of goods coming down mm -hmm. because uh, basically we have seen inflation uh, come down from a high of about uh, nine percent to about uh, six percent uh, as we speak mm -hmm. inflation has come down so meaning the prices of goods uh, are coming down mm -hmm. 
uh, there are two things there, there, are, there are two things to that mm. and uh, one which is uh, a bit uh, um, uh, to the negative is is because uh, there is no money in circulation there is no money in circulation so what is happening producers once they produce uh, their goods and services mm. they are not able to get a good demand for their goods and services so what happens they decide now to lower prices again uh, the issue of uh, forces of, of supply and demand right now people and uh, generally in the economy everyone is crying there's no money there's no money what does that mean when you say there's no understand. money in circulation yeah. But the, the so you moja, apana sina moja. Last week ni kona moja, leo sina moja. It's because you're broke. So I didn't. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so when you say there's no, <laughs> where's the money gone? Or oh, there is a reduction. <laughs> yes. If there is a reduction in circulation of money. Yes. Is this some garden variety reduction, or is it one of these hair raising reductions where we should actually tremble and fear in trepidation as we consider? a uh, uh, terrible outcome because w if there is money and we say it's not in circulation so where have the money gone yeah mm. it's a it's a good question it's uh, a deliberate effort by the government mm. number one the government uh, through the fiscal policies that it has come up with mm. it has increased the interest it has increased uh, taxes mm. it has increased taxes um, for, 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 for instance, uh, we saw the high tax band for, for pay as you want yeah. move from 30% to 35%. Mm -hmm. And uh, as much as people would think that uh, the 35% uh, tax band applies to people who are earning above 800,000, not really, not mm. really. What actually happens mm. if you are a second employer somewhere, if you are a second employer somewhere, yeah employee sorry if you are a second a secondary a secondary employee somewhere like myself like myself mm. i teach uh, in various universities mm. so every other university that i teach as a part-time i'm considered a secondary employee, employee. if uh, i'm earning a uh, hundred thousand there for instance mm. i'm deducted uh, that five percent because i'm a secondary employee secondary employees anywhere they are deducted pay as you using the highest tax band oh well uh, quisha mm -hmm. yes so it it's not only for those who are earning above eight hundred thousand. no um it's also yes. to anybody who is a secondary employee yes yes yes, right. yes 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 so yes, yes. it's more people who've been hit by that 35 percent very many people very sour many people. Very many people. so that, we've also seen the introduction of the housing levy yes the housing 1.5 percent yes we're coming into how into into health yes so basically, more and more money is getting out of your income. And it's a six percent. Okay. So, and uh, so, 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 at the end of the day, the purchasing power of Kenyans uh, has been highly uh, reduced. Impacted. Okay. Uh, highly, highly, highly reduced. Mm -hmm. So th th that's number one. Number two is the issue of uh, government uh, spending. Government, the government has actually reduced its spending. Spending, mm. and uh, the. The economy grows when the government uh, spends money. Doctor, you have to explain. What do you mean the government has reduced its spending? Is it that we've cut our budget? Is it that we are no longer spending what we should spend uh, within the various min ministries? What is it? Mm. Uh, that, that, that's true. Like now, the budget that uh, we, we we are looking forward to be read uh, in the um, by June this year, mm. we are looking forward at a budget of uh, a proposed budget of 4.2 trillion. Mm. Out of that 4.2 trillion, 1.2 trillion will go towards uh, repaying the debts. Mm. 1.2, so we are left uh, with the uh, 3 trillion. Mm. Out of the 3 trillion, 2.3 trillion will go towards uh, recurrent expenditure. Mm -hmm. So paying uh, paying the salaries and paying uh, maintenance uh, of uh, various assets of the government, it's only about uh, 800 billion that will be used to do the infrastructure development uh, expenditure. So whenever the government reduces uh, the amount that it spends in a development uh, expenditure, building dams, building bridges, building all that, then and it is using more money to repay the debts. 1.2 trillion out of the country. But, but Dr. Ari, this 4 trillion is aspirational. It doesn't <laughs> exist. Yes, yes. 
we know how much we collect. That's true. It's just about two. Yes. So this phantom two point something that we're talking about actually doesn't exist. So mm. we're going to be spending money we don't have. We have always done that for mm -hmm. the for the longest. We have even the the budget that uh, we read uh, the one that is operational, uh, 2023 to 2024. Yeah. Uh, same story. So basically, if if you you're still fully signing, but then you've reduced on the amount. The cultural establishment that you're going to. <laughs> you Fuliza, but then instead of going every evening, you only go once a week. Now that bar will have to close. Okay, so no, sorry, not bar. Mm. That uh, cultural, cultural establishment. establishment. 